Alum, 10 Ram 432, and before we go to the next stage, which I just recently remembered I had the weakness for, um, we're gonna go back to Wheel Gator stage to grab a quick Dr. Light upgrade. So we're gonna be getting those a lot more now, in this last part of the game. A few parts. And, uh, it might be going a little slow, the game. I don't know why. Uh, something with the recording thing. Anyway, so this is the Buster upgrade, and it says we'll be able to charge it in both arms at once. That enables you to shoot a double charge shot, or to charge any weapon, like in the last game. So let's grab that capsule. Ching. Might be a little slow, like I said. Um, and now, we can shoot a double charge shot. Now there's the heart tank in this stage that I shot, sh showed you earlier. And now we're going to use the speed burner, which is a pretty useful thing for a few upgrades. And fully charge it, and it becomes an air dash. So you can do a double air dash if you have the speed burner. And do a dare, dare dash, air dash, and then speed burner. Anyway, next we're going to go to Morph Moth stage. And, um, the speed burner beats Morph Moth, actually. So, weaknesses are good to have. So, Morph Moth stage is a robot junkyard, which is, which is interesting for a moth. And, um, there's a lot of these areas where they'll, that the gravity will change or something, I don't know. Uh, and there's those enemies hanging on the wall. You know, you might be wondering how I got the um, spin wheel to go through that wall there. Uh, it's because of that Doctor Light capsule there. Mega Man X enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your body armor. With it, you can absorb damage and transfer it into explosive weapon energy. Okay, so now we get another Doctor Light upgrade. That's like two in like a minute. <laughs> but now we have the Giga Crush. And if we take damage it builds up, kind of like a revenge meter. And it'll pretty much destroy everything on the screen. Unless it's the boss, of course. It won't let you destroy the boss in one hit now, would they? <laughs> but uh, it does quite a lot of damage to everything. Blows up everything, actually. And so that's the Giga Crush. It could be pretty useful if you're dying and the boss is almost almost dead. And uh, it has to be fully charged and able for you to use it. And that enemy there looks like a combination of the Metar from Mega Man X1 and that Miner dude. But anyway, there's this mini boss here. Uh, it's actually the bug that we want to attack. But it'll try to take over that big machine there, and we want to get it out of there, so we can shoot it out. Like that, and it'll start exploding and then fall apart, because it's a junkyard. We're gonna wanna get that bug. Um, if it goes back in there, it'll try to get that, that big machine back out, but we just didn't let it. So now, down here, what is in that pathway over there? Um, it is actually the secret boss for zero part number one, I think. I don't know, the bosses alternate stages. And this one is violin? Right. Okay, it's just the first one. X, I shall crush you like a twin cut. <laughs> oh, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Oh no. Uh, I think his weakness is the bubble splash. It works pretty effectively on him. Um, but other than that, his attack strategy is mostly using this huge attack mace on you. And it bounces off the walls. But then his other attack is uh, he shoots little bubble-like lasers. Uh, okay, maybe not bubbles, more like sparks. But he shoots those out. And then, yeah. So we got him, and he's talking about the unification or something. Oh well. So we got zero part 
number one, two, 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 right. Uh, anyway. So, yeah, that's violin for you. Uh, pretty, not easy. Um, this, this time was a little bit easier for me. But, is uh, not the hardest one. He's the definitely pretty. Nah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying right now. But onto the stage. Um, these bugs, like the one that took over the mini boss earlier. Well, if they jump on your head, they can kind of take control of you, which is bad in some cases. So we're gonna want to get rid of them. And those big minor Matar mixes things, they um, will come back from the junkyard if you try to shoot them down but don't finish them off. But next we have another one of these mini boss things. Only this time the ceiling is that weird stuff that pulls you in. Let's try to get that bug as fast as possible. There we go. Uh, so sometimes that ceiling will push down the air or pull up, but either way it affects how you jump, higher or lower. And that's the end of the stage. There's one of these things. Now we're at the beginning and killed green biker dude. <laughs> anyway, so now we're gonna go in with our speed burn. As it is more moths, weaknesses, weakness, sis. Then we're gonna go in. Is this sting still slow? I, I don't know, I can't tell. But anyway, there's more moth. He looks a little different, doesn't he? Um, that's what I like about this boss. He has two stages, actually. Uh, he'll change when he gets down to about half health. Or maybe a little less than half health. But you'll want to use the speed burner on him. Like, like any weapon, it's not like a weird weapon that shoots in a di strange direction or something. But, uh, he throws dirt or junk around, um, and that's pretty much all he does. He swings around on his web thing and throws dirt at you. And now when he's at about this much health, he'll break up the ceiling and Morph Moth is evolving. Dun, dun, dun. Morph Moth evolves into Morph Moth. Um, the second form is a little more mobile, mobile, whatever, and he'll run around, he'll fly around sprinkling fairy dust on you, and it will kill you, so watch out. Uh, he'll also shoot this little laser thing, like that, and he can only shoot it in a few directions, I'm gonna try not to die. Okay, let's try that again. Um, so that's Morph Moth. I'm back. I'll try not to die this time. Probably should have used my uh, Giga Crush. But anyway, there we go. He'll fall down. And then... That's it. You beat Morph Moth. Congratulations. That might have sounded, sounded really weird, but I was clapping in case you didn't hear it right. Oh, it didn't go through, right? But, now that we beat Morph Moth, we get the Silk Shot, I believe? Silk Shot, right. It'll shoot at the ground and then fire diagonally in all directions. And... Um, let's see. Do I have time for that? Maybe. Uh, so before we I go, I'm gonna go back to the Deep Sea Base. And show you a few items that I didn't get. I'm not doing the uh, speed up because I want to hear the mu beautiful music there. And, uh. Yeah, I guess I'll just leave now. How about that? It's a lot easier for me. Oh well. Uh, I'll just stick with you for a few more seconds. Anyway, if you take out the Giga Crush and use it on the fish mini boss that we fought earlier. Just use it. And yeah, you can kill it instantly. It's pretty nice. Okay, I guess there's one more thing in the level. 
So if you go down here, but then go back up here, take out your silk shot, charge, and then what? Huh? Yeah, you can do that. And you can keep doing it, however, however many times you want. And then if you dash up here, dash jump up here, then you can get the heart tank. And then last, there's the sub tank, but I'll get to that eventually. So I think you want to go up here? Is it right here? I don't know. Okay. You're going to want to charge up the bubble splash, jump up, and then if you hold um, right or left while you're jumping, you'll jump again if you reach the water and have the air dash. But anyway, uh, that's all for today. Peace and sheep. Have a good day to like and subscribe too. Thank you.